bend over and do a bunch of things oh pause bend over and not feel super okay that sounds wrong too fuck i already know people are probably gonna say oh you probably gained a ton of weight you're probably like closer to 83 kilos i'm gonna prove you fucking wrong today's the fucking day where we find out if squatting six times per week for six weeks is gonna work 270 on the bar i've never hit this before we'll fuck around and find out I'm Jared, a powerlifter determined to reach the top in Canada. I coach athletes online, guiding them to achieve their own breakthroughs. Whether it's my journey or yours, this channel is all about pushing boundaries and hitting new PRs. The world belongs to risk takers who bet on themselves when no one else will. I'm squatting six times per week for six weeks. After competing at nationals and missing two of my squat attempts, I knew something has to change in my training so this wouldn't happen again. Good morning, guys. We started off the morning with 200 milligrams of caffeine straight to the dome. Brothers! Welcome back to another video. Big squat day today. It's week six, day six of squatting six times per week. Holy fuck, didn't think I'd make it. So what did I eat this morning? I don't really like to eat too much in the morning, especially if I'm gonna be working out. I just had half a sandwich, some apples, drank a cup of water, and I had a caffeine tablet. And then I also have some liquid v IV in here. So I'm gonna drink this as well, because I don't wanna get any cramping when I squat today. Last night, I had a pretty good sleep. I went to bed at around, I think it was like 10.45 last night. And then I got up at around nine o'clock this morning. I actually had a good amount of sleep. Not too much, not too little, it was just, just right. I feel, I feel very rested. Fiona and I were up last night watching a Netflix series about the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. American Sweethearts. I actually really enjoy it. It's actually a good series. It's actually crazy what these girls go through. The girl was like saying like, how much do you get paid? And then she was saying that they make as much as a Chick-fil-A worker working full time. And I'm like, that is, that is crazy. So the girls do it for status. That just boggles my mind. Like they're not getting paid like anything. All these girls, they work like these high end professional jobs. And then on top of that, they're doing the cheerleading. I'm like, I don't understand why they would ever want to do that. That's just like, insanity to me. It's actually crazy how unpaid they are and they do it like so willfully and they go through so much crap being brainwashed to think that like working and doing the cheerleading for the Dallas Cowboys on such a low wage is like worth it. Even like the people that organize the thing are like saying oh yeah they're like super underpaid so like everyone's fully aware of it and they're not gonna do anything about it. it actually blows my mind. And like you have these athletes playing the game, probably doing nearly the same amount of practice and training. And they're making like millions and millions and millions of dollars. Like one player is probably making more than the entire cheerleading squad of the entire like division. One mediocre player probably makes more than the entire like cheerleading organization. So we have a big squat today. It's gonna be the last one of this entire prep. And then we're gonna have a big bench today. We're gonna do a top single and then a big slingshot bench. I'm freaking excited. <clears throat> what are the numbers that are going on in my head for this big squat? Well, my best squat is 260, like all time in the gym. Like I hit that 575, so I think that's a little bit more than 260. So that one, that one would be the biggest squat I've ever hit in my life. So if I can hit something like 265, 270, if I get a 265 to 270, geez, I'm gonna be laughing, laughing, because that's like, that's a huge freaking leap for me on squat. That'll be a freaking absolutely huge leap. I think if I feel really good, it's fucking 270 or nothing. I think if I feel, if I feel good, it's 270 or nothing. If I feel great, 270 or nothing. If I feel like, absolute dog shit, it's probably gonna be a little bit less than that. If I just feel good, not perfect, just good, I'll hit, I'll try and hit 270. Damn, it's gonna be crazy. I'm so excited for this. This morning though, my groin was feeling a little bit, I don't know, it didn't feel good when I was putting my socks on. But I always find I feel like that with like everyday normal people stuff, I'm like sore. But then when I started warming up during the squats and, and in the gym I start to feel good and I'm a little more functional but like at home doing like everyday normal people stuff feel like an 80 year old man.
Fuck being on some chill shit. We go zero to a hundred. Come with me to the secret, secret lair. This is where my bar is stored. So I haven't been actually using oh, is this battery full. Yeah, I actually haven't been using my bar for the squatting six times per week. But we're gonna undust it today. Uh, well, this morning, I was pretty stiff in the hips. I, uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling the best. I'm just gonna put this on for now. And then I'll warm up a little bit before, but I'm gonna try and take a shit before this. <laughs> to cut my depth short today with the way I'm feeling. Time to lock in again. It's so light today, it feels nice. I was not expecting it to feel that light. I feel like I go faster there. I felt like I was like, yeah, I felt like I spent more energy trying to control it down than to just, it's weird because I was feeling so stiff the other few days. And now I'm just like, I'm so loose. I'm not used to feeling like this. Feels good. Probably the closest time would be like the other two weeks ago or whatever, when I hit 575. But I think this felt better. Hopefully it feels like this the whole way through. But I'm so, like my body was so like fucked the last few days. It's like a mind fuck, cause it felt so stiff, so sore. And then all of a sudden like today I feel good. <laughs> Drank this whole bottle now. Got water? I think it's basically empty. So on the way here, I drank a cup of water. And then I filled this up with liquid IV and water and creatine. I just finished this already, so I should be extra hydrated. This is more than I usually do, so. Yeah. And you had food too, right? And I had a little bit of food this morning. I had like, I just like grabbed whatever was super light. Because usually in the mornings, I don't really eat anything. 80% of the time, I, I have like nothing. There's a couple stronger people, a little right bit, a little bit stronger. We're all like very close. No, right now, I'm just gym sitting. Oh, right now? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, probably. <laughs> Getting kind of scary. My brain kind of stopped there. <laughs> My brain kind of stopped there. It felt like I misgrooved a little bit there. I'll jump up. I'll be conservative. I'll go 265, and then if 265 moves better, I'll go up. Yes. <laughs> 
Better. I think that was better. There's no point in being conservative on this. We may as well go fucking heavier. Go 270. May as well. Yeah, there's no enough reds. Drag, nigga. These niggas just running at they fucking mouth, man. Follow protocol, blood. Get in they fucking chest, nigga. Yeah. We the fucking mob, nigga. These niggas bleed different. We don't bleed, nigga. We make niggas bleed, blood. Trey Wayne. These niggas said it hurt me. I ain't hurt you. Get the fuck up out my fucking face before I murder you. Bitch, niggas on the jack and blood, but I know they fool. Whole squad full of fucking killers. I'm a killer, too. Send it shot, shot, shot. Take the training wheels off. Thank you. I'll be honest, I wasn't as deep as I'd like it to be, but it felt good. So 262 at depth, comfortable depth. 270, feel like I cut, I cut it a little bit short, if I'm being honest. But mental barrier like helps me, helps me get out of it. We'll see how deep it was. It's almost like the heavier it is, the better it feels. Dude, that's fucking nasty. Very nice. Five reds coming out. I wasn't expecting to move that easy. When I like got through, I was like, oh my God, that felt good. Yep, did not like that. Holy shit. That's a huge milestone for me. That's like 10 kilos. It's fucking crazy. And I'm light too, like hovering between 167 and 169. Yep. It's good. That's like the best I've ever lifted. The haters gonna say that's yeah. the thing. That's the <laughs> yeah. Thing. All, all this, all of this, even though it's sleep absolute shit mm -hmm. for the whole. Everyone's gonna be like, yeah. Well, I slept good tonight. Good. The last yeah. three days I'm been. Even able to, like you were sleeping four or five hours a night tonight. Yeah. And you're still nice. able to do. <laughs> and not eating the best for the yeah. first like three weeks. Very Very nice. Fucking crazy. Woo! I'm done with squats. Now we're gonna hit big bench. Said illegal was the easy way out Couldn't understand the mechanics And the workings of the underworld Granted, 9 to 5 is how you survive I ain't trying to survive I'm trying to live it to the limit And love it alive Life ills, poison my body It used to say, fuck my skills I never prayed to God, I prayed to God E, that's right, it's wicked That's life, I live it Ain't asking for forgiveness for my sins Ends, I break bread With the lay hands Picking their brains for angles And all the evils that the game would do It gets dangerous Money and power Power is changing us, and now we're lethal, infected with the evil. I want the cake you slave me. Illuminati on my mind, soul in my body. I want the cake you slave me. See your society, I'm trying to keep the army. I want the cake you slave me. Illuminati on my mind, soul in my body. I want the cake you slave me. I can't die, I can't die, I can't die. Yeah, yeah. We used to fight for building blocks, now we fight for blocks with builders that make a killing.
one The closest of friends when we first started But grew apart as the money grew And soon grew black hearted Thinking back when we first learned to use rubbers He never learned so in turn I'm kidnapping his baby's mother My hand around the collar feeding her cheese She said the taste of dollars was shitty So I fed her fifties About his whereabouts I wasn't convinced I kept feeding her money till her shit started to make sense Who could ever foresee We used to stay up all night at slumber parties Now I'm trying to rock his business You can wrap crab. I always put ginger wasabi on my sushi. Okay, these are the best. If you're ever at a sushi restaurant and they have rice wrap Atlantic rolls, best thing ever. This is what we come here for at all time. Oh. Oh. I repeat all the real niggas worldwide. Salute. Let's go, kid. Real shit. Uh, I ride for my niggas down. I ride for my niggas. I slide for my niggas down. I ride for my niggas. Stay scheming. Niggas trying to get at me. I ride for my niggas. Stay scheming. Niggas trying to get at me. So short, fuck it. I don't wanna go to court, fuck it. Got a budget for the lawyer though, fuck it. I'm on the run for the month, I'm in the fuck. Paid 200 for it. My little nigga stuck and even got me paranoid. I'm getting money, that's an any nigga category. Double M, I got G's out in California. I ride for my niggas down. I ride for my niggas. I slide for my niggas down. down. I run for my niggas. Stay scheming. Yeah. Niggas trying to get me. Yeah. I run for my niggas. It bothers me when the guards get to acting like the bras. Guess everything doesn't come complete with niggas like ours. That's why I see no need to compete with niggas like y'all. I just ask that when you see me, you speak up, nigga, that's all. Don't be ducking like you never wanted nothing. It's feeling like rap changed. It was a time it was rugged. Back when if a nigga reached, it was for the weapon. Nowadays, niggas reach just to set a record. Spaghetti bowling years in the polo lounge. Me and my G from DC, that's how I roll around. Might look like, but we heavy though. You think Drake will pull some shit like that? You never know. Million dollar meetings in the polo lounge. Me and my man all over North, that's how I roll around. So it's the next day after I squatted 270. It is currently 2.45, the 27th Sunday of October. I just want to show you guys my body weight because I already know people are probably going to say, oh, you probably gained a ton of weight. You're probably like closer to 83 kilos. I'm going to prove you fucking wrong. Had a little bit to eat, had a little bit to drink throughout the day. And uh, I forgot to weigh myself this morning because we had to get up at like six in the morning. So I'm gonna weigh myself. I'm not gonna bother taking off my socks or underwear. I don't think it's necessary. But I'm 169.6 with my socks and underwear on. I typically weigh between 169 and 167, depending on the morning. I don't want to get really any heavier than this. When I start weighing 170 every single morning, I'm going to make sure that I can start weighing a little bit less than that. But that's that's where I like to sit. And that's something I've tested the last couple meets now, is sitting closer to weight. So this meet I just did recently, that was the best I ever felt. And I was sitting basically at this weight, 169. And it was a really easy weight cut for me. Oh yeah, so day after the, the big squat, I actually feel really freaking good. Like today, I don't have any pain, no soreness. I actually feel better than I deserve. I actually feel really good. So I have no aches or pains. I was able to handle Yannick and like bend over and do a bunch of things. Oh, pause. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm able to 
bend over and not feel super. Okay, that sounds wrong too. Fuck. Load weights. I'm able to load the weights onto the bar and not feel sore or anything or no stiffness. So I actually felt really good today. So I guess that is it for squatting six times per week for six weeks. Maybe we'll do it again. Maybe we'll just spam it and see if it works. But for now, we're going to go back to more of a normal routine. I can't wait to take you guys along with the new journey, with the new program that we're going to start. Going to hopefully start on Monday. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're taking Jerry James Fit to the fucking moon. One subscriber at a time. We're almost at a thousand. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, drop a like leave a comment down below if you have any video suggestions or any questions i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video peace